income earned by the sweat of your brow should be taxed at the lowest rates, not the highest. Capital gains should be taxed at a higher rate. The mutual fund industry has been built, in a sense, on witchcraft. The miracle of compounding returns is overwhelmed by the tyranny of compounding costs. Fund investors are confident that they can easily select superior fund managers. They are wrong. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Learning is to the studious and riches to the careful. If a man empties his purse into his head, no man can take it away from him. If you have trouble imagining a 20% loss in the stock market, you shouldn't be in stocks. Where returns are concerned, time is your friend. But where costs are concerned, time is your enemy. Time is your friend, impulse is your enemy. Investing is not nearly as difficult as it looks. Successful investing involves doing a few things right and avoiding serious mistakes. Don't look for the needle in the haystack. Just buy the haystack. When there are multiple solutions to a problem, choose the simplest one. Fund performance comes and goes. Costs go on forever. Before costs, beating the market is a zero-sum game. After costs, it is a loser's game. What may work for the few cannot work for the many. Your success in investing will depend in part on your character and guts, and in part on your ability to realize at the height of ebullience and the depth of despair alike that this too shall pass. Index funds eliminate the risks of individual stocks, market sectors, and manager selection. Only stock market risk remains. Gunning for average is your best shot at finishing above average. You know the rule of 72. Divide the number into 72, any number you want, and that's how long it will take your money to double. I believe deeply and profoundly that speculation is a loser's game. Speculation leads you the wrong way. It allows you to put your emotions first, whereas investment gets emotions out of the picture. The historical data support one conclusion with unusual force. To invest with success, you must be a long-term investor. Buying funds based purely on their past performance is one of the stupidest things an investor can do. The stock market is a giant distraction to the business of investing. The transfer of Wall Street from private ownership to public ownership has been a big step backward. My biggest prediction for the future is that people are going to start looking after individual investors. It's amazing how difficult it is for a man to understand something if he's paid a small fortune not to understand it. The winning formula for success in investing is owning the entire stock market through an index fund and then doing nothing. Just stay the course. Rely on the ordinary virtues that intelligent, balanced human beings have relied on for centuries. Common sense, thrift, realistic expectations, patience, and perseverance. On balance, the financial system subtracts value from society. Investor emotions plus fund industry promotions equals trouble. Don't think that you know more than the market. No one does. And don't act on insights that you think are your own but are usually shared by millions of others. In the long run, investing is not about markets at all. Investing is about enjoying the returns earned by businesses. The true investor, 
will do better if he forgets about the stock market and pays attention to his dividend returns and to the operating results of his companies. The greatest enemy of a good plan is the dream of a perfect plan. Stick to the good plan. The greatest enemies of the equity investor are expenses and emotions. Owning the stock market over the long term is a winner's gain, but attempting to beat the market is a loser's gain. Learn every day, but especially from the experiences of others. It's cheaper. I will create value for society rather than extract it.